Those three aren't the only wildfires burning here in the Gem State. In fact, the National Interagency Fire Center says Idaho is in the top five states for acreage burned by wildfire this summer. Alaska, number one by far, with more than three million acres. New Mexico comes in at number two, Texas number three. We are sitting in fourth place with 957,000, or I should say 957 wildfires burning more than 375,000 acres. Oregon rounds out the list. So that's a lot of acres of vegetation and habitat, habitat just gone. But are there any benefits to a loss of all that land? News Channel 7's Abby Davis spoke with local experts about how wildfires, when they are burning away from communities, actually help an ecosystem. Abby? Well, when it's smoky outside and the air quality is bad, or for families with homes threatened by a wildfire, it can be hard to look on the positive side. But experts say wildfires can actually be really healthy for the environment if they're done right. At their worst, wildfires are catastrophic. But in some cases, there's a silver lining. When you see a charred stand of, of trees out there and you think it's a wasteland, there's actually uh, uh, birds that focus in and they rely on that critical habitat. You get that young growth, vegetation growth coming up that provides, so you got food, yeah. you know, water and, and cover for wildlife. Idaho Conservation League spokesperson John Robison says it's not just wildlife that benefit. For folks who have ever hunted morel mushrooms, they know the connection between wildfires and morels, and the same with elk hunters, and the same with folks who like to bird watch and look for black-backed woodpeckers. Robison and Boise National Forest Fire Management Officer Rich Zimmerly say wildfires that positively impact the environment burn in a mosaic pattern with varying intensities. So you have areas that do burn hot, but that's good for some wildlife, and other areas that are light burn, and that's really good for other types of wildlife. Reducing um, overgrown vegetation and, and allowing an opportunity for um, new growth to come up, which wildlife um, certainly benefit from. But with climate change, Robison says fire behavior is changing. It's uh, end of September, it's 90 degrees out here. Protecting communities from wildfires is always a big priority, and prescribed fires play a big role in keeping people safe. We want to bring fire back where, it's, where it belongs and in a way how, how the, uh, uh, the wildlife and plants can really respond to it. Robison says some areas need prescribed fires more than others. In some cases, we put out a lot of fires that would have done a great job and great service to us ecologically in terms of wildlife restoration and forest re regeneration. Experts say strategically burning certain areas gives the landscape an opportunity to experience less intense fire. So if a catastrophic fire does roll through, the results aren't as devastating. We can go into an area, introduce fire on our terms, um, so a less intense uh, environment. And, and treating those, those hazardous fuels. When the fuel conditions are manageable and the weather's manageable, uh, and so the wildfire can have its actual ecological benefits and not be uncharacteristic and out of control. A lot of those out of control fires don't start naturally. Zimmerly says more than 80% of wildfires are caused by humans. We know the Moose Fire, which has burned more than 130,000 acres, like Brian just said, started after someone left their campfire without making sure it was completely out. But Zimmerly told me it's really too soon to tell what sort of benefits will come from the biggest fires we've experienced this season. I know, Abby, it's a delicate balance between protection and uh, management, but I'm sure that there are some fires that are more beneficial than others. Well, Robison says decreasing the amount of fires started accidentally by people and increasing the amount of prescribed fires is a good way for both people and wildlife to benefit. All right. Thank you very much, Abby.